Big night tonight. It's opening night for the 36th annual Cleveland International Film Festival. And among the movies playing this year is one directed by a Chagrin Falls native. It's called Nesting. What are you doing? You know, I feel like camping. Wait, that's your wife, right? No, Kenny, that's the woman my wife used to be. Don't get me wrong, I love Sarah. I love our life. That's 30-something utopia. Let's go make some coffee. I kind of always thought that we'd buy our furniture at a thrift store, you know what I mean? And I don't know where things went wrong, but it's, uh, I miss the simplicity. This is a coffee maker, right? Welcome, John Childenko, director of Nesting. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Being from Chagrin Falls, you know, exactly. I've had an opportunity to attend the, the film festival over the years, uh -huh. and they always bring in the big directors for the first night, the premiere night, and that's you this year. I am, I can't tell you how excited I am about it. It's great, it's, you know, I, I thought it would be, it's, it's, a, it's a fun idea to sort of bring it home in a sense, but over the last couple days, spending time here, I'm really, really excited about this. I've got a ton of friends coming for the show, and, uh, you know, it's amazing, and the, the weather, I guess, the weather kind of helps too, but it's one of those moments where you look around, like, this isn't getting better than this, right? So I'm, I'm watching nesting here a little bit, and I'm thinking, how much of you is in this story. Oh man, you know, I think uh, maybe in the broad strokes kind of a thing, and certainly in little, um, you know, little dialogue bits, there are certain things that have come from, from myself or from friends and, and things like that. But I think a lot of people in that Generation X demographic are kind of going through the same thing, you know? I mean, we, you know, we used to, you know, go out to shows and, you know, collect a bunch of records and stuff, and now we're going out to the Pottery Barn and buying, you know, bedspreads and it's things a like different, that. It's a different world. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's put, put the age on Generation X for people who don't remember what that is, because some people forget. I think, you know, I think it's probably I think it's a range but I think it's people probably in their mid 30s you know so you grow up all you care about is being hip and cool and then all of a sudden life changes around you and you have to adapt to it what happened you know what <laughs> happened these are like these are the children of baby boomers right and you've got these two massive um, weighty demographics right you got the baby boomers ahead of us and then you've got the Millennials that everybody's talking about behind us and in the middle yes. It's yes. kind of a vacuum now. We've gotten yeah. kind of pulled to, towards both the, you know, directions. So we hear about guys making movies all the time in Hollywood, yeah. sometimes New York. You're from Chagrin Falls. Correct. How do you birth this baby? How do you make this happen? Uh, it's a two-pronged approach. One was begging and groveling. Uh, <laughs> so a combination of both those. No, but uh, I was really fortunate to be able to um, uh, to find some financing through some very generous friends and uh, and you know do it, get, had a great casting director who put these uh, incredible actors together and the chemistry worked out well and um, we made it happen. We shot it uh, on a shoestring budget. Uh, I mean, look at the pictures. I mean, you know, you talk about independent films. Sometimes yeah. they have that grainy look or they go for that grainy look. I mean, this looks, looks like a big budget film. Thank you, uh, and that's a big deal. I, I made the decision early on to put all the money on camera. We, the money we spent was in locations, was in set design, was in uh, you know wardrobe and casting and things like that, as opposed to you know having a fancy trailer or like sushi breaks or uh, on-set massages and things like that. It's just, it just doesn't really benefit the film. <laughs> no, right? no. Yeah. Is it intimidating to, t to work with actors who maybe have had a little more experience than you and you tell them what you want them to do? Uh, or or is, it a, is that a gift to you that you can find somebody that will listen to you? Uh, I think, you know, I studied acting for a long time, not to be an actor, but to develop that vocabulary, to develop the way of speaking to actors and know how they've been trained and, and have that shorthand very quickly. Because when the camera's rolling, you know, the money's burning, basically. Right. So you've really got to make sure your direction is concise and clear um, and that you can get, the, you get the, you know, the performances you need. You shoot a lot of stuff in sequence to make it easier for yourself or you shoot stuff out of sequence because you have to? Nah, out of sequence because you have to, especially on a schedule like ours, you know, I mean, yeah. 18 days. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so it's at the Cleveland International Film Festival tonight, it's opening night. Absolutely. When is the rest of the world going to get a chance to see nesting? May 11th. May it's 11th. Uh, 10 cities nationwide, May 11th, and also on uh, Video On Demand and the digital, you know, iTunes and Hulu and all those kind of things. Okay, so, so what's the reaction right now? Let's, say, let's look at this right now, Tower yeah. City Cinemas downtown, that's uh, March 22nd through April 1st, so that's the film festival, and of course you can log on and you can get tickets for everything. I, I bet tonight's sold out, right? It is going to be a great time. I think so. They told me last night that attendance is a you know, record attendance. It's going to be a lot of fun. So a lot of people that you grew up with are going to be there since you yeah. grew up here, right? Yeah, I'll be sort of like curled up in my chair hoping they laugh at the right times. I, it's always a tough kind of thing to see it with an audience, you know? Yeah. It is a little scary, isn't it? Because, I mean, you, you're expecting a certain emotion from the audience at exactly. a certain time. I've seen the movie, you know, yeah. so I know exactly what happens when it happens. You, you lived the movie. Hey, are they laughing? Are they laughing? Are they yeah. laughing? You know, but. It's terrific. It's yeah. great to have you here. Oh, it's good to be here. Good luck tonight. Enjoy uh, it. Thank you. It's going to be a blast. Thank you.